as I was taking down, I remembered that I have chalk writing all over the wall. Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be redoing my photo wall. So basically, if you don't know what my photo wall is, it is this wall right here in my room. And today I'm going to be adding many more photos to the wall and rearranging it a bit. Because basically the other day when my friend was over, she was like, Bro, I'm not even on your wall. Like what? And I was like, oh my god, you're right. Because then I realized that I haven't updated my photo wall in a few months, to be honest. And I think it's time to finally do that. So yesterday, I went on my phone and on my laptop and I gathered all the photos from the past couple months that I want to add to my photo wall. And then my mom and I, we went on costco.ca and we ordered all the photos so they could be printed. And today, we're going to go pick them up. So if you would like to see how I organize and redo my photo wall, keep watching. And now we're gonna go to Costco and pick up the new photos. Let's go. Ew, no, cooties. That, Ew. Was, that was rude. So I changed outfits. <laughs> I changed outfits and hair completely. But now we're on our way to Costco. We got them. Hey guys, so we're back now. And what I'm gonna do now is, so basically, I got the new photos. They're right here and they all look really good. I already looked at them. My photo wall right now, I don't know if I necessarily like, like how it looks right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Pinterest and I'm going to search up like photo wall ideas, I guess. So that's kind of what I'm gonna, gonna do now and then I'm gonna get started. So this is what my wall looks like right now, right? And so basically, as you can see, all of the photos are touching each other and all the portrait and landscape photos, they're all mixed. So I have this whole wall right here and then also up there because that's my door right there and then that's my closet door. So this is what it looks like right now. And then I found this picture on Pinterest of what I think I want to make it look like instead of what it looks like right now. And that photo looks like this. So basically, unlike my wall, these photos, they're all spread out. Like they have a gap between all the photos. And she organized them where all the landscape photos are together and then all the portrait photos are together up there. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make my wall look like that as well because I think I'll like the look of it a lot better. So this is going to take a while because... Basically, so all the photos that are on my wall right now have one specific look to them, like they all have the same filter on them. And then the new photos that I got printed have a new look to them with like a different filter because I like it better because I want to change it a bit, right? So I don't want to have it where like, where all of those photos um, that are on my wall right now are together and then the new ones are together. I want to have them mixed. But in order to do that, first of all, I have to take all those photos off the wall and then I have to organize them how I want. So I think I'm gonna use my bed as like a platform to organize all the photos before I actually put them on, put them on the wall. So this is basically gonna take a really long time, but I think I'm totally prepared for it, you know? Okay, so I think we're just gonna get started and kind of see what happens. So here's a time lapse of that because you definitely don't wanna see this video at normal speed. I just finished taking most of the photos down. I just have those ones up there. But basically, as I was taking down, I remembered that I have chalk writing all over the wall, along with black chalkboard stripes. So basically, I don't know if this kind of layout that I'm gonna do is gonna work. So I guess I'm gonna try it. I tried wiping off the chalk but it's like two years old, so it didn't come off um, all the way, so it would just look worse, honestly. Now, I think, I guess, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna take off the rest of the photos, and then I might, honestly, for right now, until we can get this painted, I might just put them up still exactly how I want them to be put up, and if it looks bad, then oh well. So, I'm gonna start that now. All right, so, everything I just said, I lied. So basically, what I just did is I went and I told my mom, about that and she's like go check in the basement to see if we still have the paint and we did and it was the right color 
with the right date and all that and there should be enough for this wall. So now what we're gonna do is my dad and I, we're gonna paint this wall white. So I kinda have to, we kinda have to take the TV off the wall. I have to pull the those cabinets right right there away from the wall and I have to get the rest of the photos off the wall. So I'm gonna do that now and then we're gonna paint. So this should be fun. We love a photobombed bed. Haha, <laughs> get it? Oh gosh, okay. Okay, so my dad just finished painting the wall behind me. And so now basically the paint's still wet. So now I'm either gonna have to wait a couple hours or I might wait until tomorrow or the next day to actually put the photos up. So I will either be back in a couple hours or I will be back tomorrow. All right, you guys, so it is a couple hours later and I have actually just finished the whole entire wall. So like you saw in the last clip, um, my dad and I, we did paint, well, it was really just my dad, but he did paint um, the wall all white. So all the black chalk and the writing got covered up and then that had to dry for a few hours. And now for the past couple hours, I have been putting every single photo back on the wall. So it did take a while, but here is the finished product. So I can't even get it all in the frame, but this is what it looks like. I really like how it turned out. So I have a whole bunch of all the landscape photos right there. And then it goes into the portrait facing photos that go along there. And then they go all along there and all down that side of my closet over there. That's what I've been doing for the past couple hours and I think that it turned out really well. Um, it honestly only took me like two days to do this in total from gathering all the photos, ordering them on Costco, going to pick them up from Costco, painting the wall, which not everybody will have to do, and putting all the photos back on. So after completing this, I'm honestly very happy with how it turned out and I am super happy that I did it and I hope it gave you guys some inspiration to maybe even make your own photo wall. I think it's a really cool um, addition to my room, honestly. I love having like that kind of accent wall. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, then give it a thumbs up and if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!